Mark's Max Muscle. And today, I'm going to be adding to my video series of the best body parts in the history of bodybuilding. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the quadricep. So without further ado, let's get started. I just love beginning with these old classics. This is, of course, George Hackenschmidt, the Russian lion. Just incredible quad development for the late 1800s, early 1900s, just uh, way, way ahead of his time. And it goes without saying, he deserves to be on this list. Here's Tommy Kono, competitive bodybuilder from the 1950s. I feel that he uh, makes the grade for this list. Here's Freddie Ortiz, not a bad set of thighs on this guy. First time, uh, I believe he competed in the 1960s. Here's Sergio Oliva, just a massive set of quads for his time, especially even to the, today's standards. I mean, this guy's waist is so small. Unbelievable set of thighs. I believe the Austrian Oak himself had a pretty underrated set of quads. Even though Sergio Oliva might have had a, a larger, larger set. I think if I was a judge, I would have to place Arnold ahead nine times out of ten. If you were uh, basing the judging strictly on the quads alone. So the Oak definitely uh, deserves to be on this list. Ken Waller. I think Tom Platts had unbelievable thigh development. His quads were so huge for his time that... For, actually, for his time, I think Tom Platts had the greatest quads. Period. But of course, at the end, I will be giving my overall favorite... And uh, we'll be throwing the timeline out the window, and we're just going to basically judge who has the best quads. And I think Tom Platts will definitely stand up to even today's competitors. And when you consider all the uh, extra vitamins, and even the, uh, the knowledge and know-how of training and recovery and things of that nature, Tom Platts is just so far ahead of his time that he really deserves a, a little extra coup in this list. So Tom Platt's unbelievable. Here's Herman Huffend. And I know after seeing Tom Platt's, it's not going to be that impressive. But trust me, Herman definitely has a, a, a full strided set of quads. And def definitely, without a doubt, deserves to be on this list. Here's Andreas Munzer. Unbelievable quad development on this guy. I mean, I've mentioned this before. He's the uh, the modern equivalent to Tom Platts, as far as the legs are concerned. And uh, not only are they very strided, but just look at the mass. I mean, if, if Andreas is not my overall winner... He definitely, uh, like Tom Platts, deserves an extra little coup, just just on the merit of the, the striations, perhaps the two most striated quads in this, uh, in this video. Here's Victor Richards, and after seeing Andreas Munzer, his uh, thighs are probably going to seem th smooth in comparison, but uh, I, I believe that he deserves to be on this list, just on the the size and mass of his quads. Now, take a look at Ronnie Coleman. He had the uh, the size, as you can plainly see. And he was, uh, I wouldn't call him strided in the thighs, but definitely had some separation and quite a, quite a lot of vascularity in his thighs. And in my opinion, he definitely ranks high 
in this uh, in this list. Here's Paul DeMea. He's famous for his uh, quads. Actually, coined the uh, the phrase quadzilla. But I believe Tom Platts over the years has kind of adopted that nickname as well. But Paul DeMea, massive, massive set of quads. Here's another Paul, Paul Dillett. Not the best on this uh, in this video, but uh, I believe he deserves to be on it. Here's Big Nessair Alsombody. I believe uh, a little bit better than Paul Dillett in the uh, thigh department. Pretty good set of quads. Wow, look at Jay Cutler. Holy f that's unbelievable. That's wow. Wow. Let, let's let's move on. Here's Oleg Zer. And I know after seeing Jay Cutler's thighs again in comparison, this guy is not going to be that impressive. And uh, by the way, he's not naked. He, uh, he selected a very, uh, very bizarre color of posing trunks. Here's Francisco Bautista. This guy had a very impressive quad from the side, especially. Of course, from the front, equally as impressive. Of course, I never, never heard tell of this guy before making this list, but it's always nice to uh, be exposed to these, these uh, forgotten legends if you will, in the, in the bodybuilding stage. Here's Mustafa Mohammed, and at first glance, and it's plain to see that he definitely deserves to be on this, uh, this list, as far as quad development is concerned. I remember watching the old Mr. Olympias, well, not the old ones, but from 2004 or 5. I can't remember exactly which one. I just remember this guy just dwarfing everybody as far as the uh, quad development was concerned. Here's Branch Warren. He always uh, held his own as far as quad development with, uh, with the best of them. Not bad at all. Here's Kai Green. He's known for his uh, feathering and striations in his thighs. Very good set of quads, I think. Kai Green ranks up there the, the best of the best. Here's the last guy to be featured on this list. Big Rammy, Mamdua Elsbae. Probably not the most striated or feathered set of quads in the history of bodybuilding. But, on the contrary, probably the largest set of quads in the history of bodybuilding. And I sure would like to see these quads being compared to, say, Ronnie Coleman, both in their prime. Wow. That would be a, a challenge round for the future. Anyway, now that my list is complete, as always, I'm going to let you guys know who I think has the best quads in the history of bodybuilding. And your winner is Jay Cutler. He, in my opinion, has the best balance of, as far as size and uh, just the striations and cuts just unbelievable quad development of this man. Of course, I have to mention Tom Platt for his time had uh, perhaps the, the greatest quad development. But taking nothing away from the winner, Jay Cutler, as you could, you could keep going back in time and say that George Hackenschmidt himself for his time had the greatest quad development. But as I said, to take nothing away from Jay Cutler, the winner, he is your Mark's Max Muscle. Quadricep King. Well, that about does it for that one. Let me know in the comment section below if I left anybody out that you feel deserves to be on this list. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit like and subscribe if you did. And that's it for now. This is Mark for Mark's Max Muscle.